instead of the tired, old way of business put forward so clearly in the speech from the throne, Nelson Creston voted for a new way of thinking and a new type of leadership, a new leadership that believes in a society where everyone has the opportunity to realize their right to live in dignity, a new leadership that believes in an economy that nurtures our well-being and creates environmental sustainability, a new leadership that does that environmental sustainability and at the very same time puts people before profits. A new leadership that values, that values public control over public resources to protect the public interest. The Nelson Creston voters voted for a new leadership built on principles instead of corporate persuasion. To be sure, the Nelson Creston voters chose a new and a democratic leadership. And they will fight, because that's what they do. They will fight this government's hidden agendas and broken promises that are now coming to light despite the rhetoric from the throne speech. And, Honorable Speaker, that is exactly why I'm here. Bringing forward the voice of people tucked away in beautiful mountain communities of this province, so far from this house, allows me to bring forward my constituents' creativity, innovation, and dreams for the future. In the Lardo Valley, they dream of good paying jobs. Potential lies in arts, culture, and tourism. Where are those dollars now? They've been cut. And with the HST proposal, the potential is fizzling out. Salmo's Library is a center where many workers laid off from the forestry sector in the last three years have improved their literacy. Their literacy. That's a basic skill for so many of the jobs today. They've improved their computer skills. Another basic skill for the jobs of today. And they have learned to apply personal creativity to self-employment opportunities. Well, despite the cuts that this government has for our libraries, we're hoping to keep it open. And Nelson, and Nelson, we're picking up the tab for a CT scanner, a basic diagnostic tool. We've been asking for one for the last eight years. And they came back and said, get it yourself. OK. He said, if that's the only way we can do it, we will. And it's that type of courage and determination that defines Nelson. Crawford Bay is celebrating its new LEED Standard School and Weimar its new park. And those two things, the school and the park, they are a reality, not because this government finally chipped in, but because of the tenacity and the dedication and the commitment and the innovation of the people who live there. They're the ones who made it happen. And while these people try to take credit for it, we know, we know that it's people in communities that make that happen. Yaks building community and local economy through tourism-driven initiatives. We're wondering how the HST is going to impact them. Caswell is exploring new concepts for affordable housing for seniors. And Creston farmers are increasing local food security and reducing regional carbon emissions. And I dare say, showing, showing the rest of British Columbia and showing this government what real action on climate change is through our region-wide grain community shared agriculture system. Honorable Speaker, I am incredibly fortunate. I am incredibly fortunate to come from a region whose resilience and determination and perseverance through the difficulties rendered in supposed good economic times has prepared us to deal 
with the tough economic times. I intend to bring that resilience, that determination, that perseverance, and the passion, and the dedication, and the ability to fight for what's right, to fight for every person being able to live a dignified life, to live in dignity, I will be bringing that to this House. Our path is a democratic one, and our plan is to build a better BC. Thank you.